I just got back from seeing Dragon Ball Super Broly in the theaters, and the biggest question that a lot of people have is how Broly was able to keep up with the Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue in his base form. It doesn't make any sense. Vegeta and Goku are powering up into all these different forms, and Broly is still in his base. How? It's almost like Broly has more power in his base form than a Super Saiyan Blue. Well, I'll explain it to you all after this. This video is sponsored by Return of Warrior. Thank you to the guys over at Return of Warrior for sponsoring this video. This is a 3D fantasy MMORPG with a real-time combat system. This game is based in its own fantasy world and has real-time combat. You choose between two factions, the humans or the Akan, which are the monster people, and fight in giant battles to protect your factions. There's all different types of terrains, upgradable weapons and armor. There are 14 different types of classes that you can choose from, a warrior, an assassin, an archer. It takes about a day of grinding to reach level 40, which is when everything is unlocked to you. You can take part in quests, missions, fight other players, in real time by the way, but the overall goal is to secure and build your faction. Again, thank you to the guys over at Return of Warrior for sponsoring this video. You have to go into it knowing that Broly is not normal. His power is some sort of mutation. Now, Broly, when he first appeared in this movie to fight Vegeta, he got slapped. Broly has never had a serious fight before that, and when Vegeta goes Super Saiyan for the first time, he completely overpowers Broly in his Super Saiyan form. Vegeta was so dominant over Broly that Frieza and Paragus, they're about to call him back and just leave. Broly had never been in a serious fight before, so Vegeta just used all of that experience and dominated Broly. But Broly in this movie is born beyond the elite, something that the Saiyans have never ever seen before. He is in a whole other class of his own. Goku and Vegeta were going up to their Super Saiyan forms, going to gods, and Broly was staying level in his base form, almost like his base form was stronger than a Super Saiyan god. And throughout the history of time, that just makes no sense. But the reason Broly was able to compete at such a high level in what looked to be his base form was because it wasn't actually his base form. In a very interesting turn of events, Broly loses his tail, but somehow he retains the primal Ozaru power, the true power of a Saiyan. Even though Broly loses his tail, he gets an Ozaru-like power-up in his base form. He wasn't able to turn Super Saiyan until much later, but that's why Broly was able to keep up with Goku in his Super Saiyan and God forms, is because Broly was tapping into the primal instinct of a Saiyan, the Ozaru form, but since he didn't have a tail, he didn't transform. The one physical change he did have is he did get bigger, however, his eyes. His eyes turned yellow. The only other Super Saiyan transformation to have yellow eyes is Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4 was the Ozaru form mutated down into your regular Saiyan body. There are more than a few comparisons to Broly in this movie and Super Saiyan 4. Uh, obviously the eyes, the Ozaru connection that Broly was tapping into, but more importantly, the self-control. Broly loses complete self-control once his eyes turn yellow, and Super Saiyan 4 had a similar effect on Goku. Goku just knew how to control it more, but that's why. It's almost like saying, why was Goku able to hold his own against Jiren in his base form when he was using the Omen of Ultra Instinct? Just because his hair was black and it looked like he was in base form doesn't mean that's all that was going on. I'm excited to see what they'll do with Broly. In his own way, he is single-handedly bringing back Super Saiyan 4, but that is why he was able to hold his own in what looked to be his base form. Broly is as sane as it gets. Even without his tail, he can tap into their full power. Anyway, thank you for watching. Shout out to Return of Warrior for sponsoring the video. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.